Are you ready to take your business to the next level and make the money you want so that you can create the impact you desire? Then you're in the right place. It's possible to run a successful business built around your life. Get ready for a little bit of tough love and a whole lot of strategy to grow your business without sacrificing your sanity. If you're ready to get out of your own way and step into the role of CEO, then let's go. I'm Amy Tra, and this is the Motivated CEO Podcast. If you've been in my world for a while, you would know that I have written a book. And if you haven't been in my world for a while, welcome in, first off. So happy you're here. Second of all, I wrote a book. It still feels scary for me to say that. It feels uncomfortable. And in today's episode, I really want to unpack this and dive into the process of being a beginner and how it is so necessary for us to embrace that beginner stage as we grow in our businesses. So as I'm writing this book, it conjured up all of these crazy, crazy thoughts, feelings. Honestly, writing the book was the easy part. I brain dumped it all into paper, reviewed it, revised it, and then I really got nervous when I was sending this book out for professional copy edit. I take this book, I format it in my my own words, I really put my best work forward, and then I send it out to literally have someone pull it apart and point out my blind spots, point out my mistakes, because that's what I need in order to put my best work forward. I'm not an English major. I don't remember all the proper rules of grammar. And if you're here in the States, like our language is bizarre. The English language is so complicated and In terms of colons and commas and semicolons and all of those things. Yeah, this girl, she had no clue. No clue what she was doing. So that's why if I don't have a strength in a particular area, if I don't have that skill set, that's when I outsource it. I ask for help in order to put my best work forward. So as I'm doing this, literally like I want to throw up. I want to, you know, just cry. I don't know. It's brought up so many different emotions. But then I realized this is part of the process. I'm doing something new. I'm being a beginner again. One of my favorite analogies is riding a bike. You can read every single book out there on riding a bike. You can watch every YouTube video that teaches you how to ride a bike. You can write about riding a bike. You can learn everything that there is to know about bikes. But how are you actually going to learn how to ride? You have to be a beginner. You have to be willing to put yourself on the bike, do it scared, and know that you're going to fall down. Probably not just once, probably not twice, but over and over and over. But it's in the process of falling down that you learn, that your body learns what it needs to do to adjust, to adapt. Because you're willing to be a beginner again, you learn a new skill. It's the same way in business. Everything in the business landscape, especially with AI technology, is constantly changing, evolving, developing. And as we put ourselves into new situations, as I just did when I wrote this book, we need to be beginners again in order to really get good at a craft, at a new skill. And it takes practice. And it is uncomfortable, but what happens every time you fall down, you pick yourself back up, you get back on the seat and you learn 
and it gets easier to the point where you're riding without any hands, when you're popping wheelies, when you're doing all these like cool tricks. Now, granted, I am definitely not that um, like crazy trick performing mama over here. No, I am a two hands, like I'm a klutz. I, yeah, enough said with that. But it's the process of being a beginner, embracing that realizing that this is an opportunity to grow. So I question you, when was the last time you were a beginner at something? It's scary. A lot of times we hide behind the cycle of consumption. We really hold ourselves back because we feel as though consuming information is actually doing something. But the reality is, is our brain is not processing the information the same way. We're consuming, consuming, consuming. So we think that we're doing something. But in reality, we're using this consumption to hide and play small because we're not actually willing to step onto the field and get beat up a little bit to be that beginner again. So I challenge you, the next time that... You're finding yourself downloading all the freebies, doing all of the crazy things within your business. Just stop, stop and think about it. Am I willing to be a beginner again? Am I willing to put some skin in the game and try something new? Am I willing to put myself out there and be misunderstood by a few so that I can impact many? Am I willing to be a beginner again? And when you make this mindset shift and realize that being a beginner is actually a really beautiful thing, that's your opportunity to learn, to grow, and to become a better business owner, to learn a new skill, to really thrive and achieve the success you desire. Oh my gosh, there's so much opportunity in that. So... This is my challenge for you today in this short, quick little episode. Be willing to be a beginner. Be willing to start. Start messy. Start scared. Just start taking action. Take action and implement what you already know. Just like riding a bike. At first, you're not going to be very good at this new skill. And that's okay. Give yourself some grace. And I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, insert eye roll, right? Give yourself some grace. If I only had a dollar for every time somebody told me that. But it's true. Talk to yourself like you would talk to your best friend. And give yourself that permission to be a beginner. Now, speaking of the book, before I sign off today, I would absolutely love, love, love if you would join me. In the book launch team, we'll put the link in the bio. Applications are open now through February 29th because it's leap year. And I would love to have you as part of this team to link arms with you, to share literally the step-by-step framework that I guide clients through. I want you to have it and I want you to be a part of this. So if you're interested, find the link in the show notes. And until next time, cheers to making the money you want so that you can create the impact you desire. Are you loving what you're hearing? Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an episode. 